Uh, Justin, let's jump into it, my man. Everybody's everybody's favorite NFL segment here. Your top five quarterbacks of the week, the QB. Look, Kenyon's even pumping his fist oh, down. Yeah. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's he's all excited. We, Give we us your top five. Or, or something for this since he's yeah, popping around. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're, maybe we can put some more on Sam's plate because he doesn't have enough. We'll oh, just, oh well, know. hey, I mean, Deb's got Deb's <laughs> got the uh, Deb's got the uh, the soundtrack coming out. Hey, we oh yeah, that's add, right. Yeah, add that to the mix. Get Deb on the mic. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to get a little beat you can throw it. So, uh, yeah, all right, yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, Justin. jump right into it, my man. This is your yeah. your, your, your so, time now. This week, um, I would say quarterback play wasn't necessarily terrific. So these these names are a, a lot easier to pick uh, than others, but I still got some honorable mentions and then maybe um, a little different top five. So um, at my honorable mentions, I got Matthew Stafford, Brian Hoyer, this other Patriot beating the Patriots. So we thought it would be Jimmy Garoppolo beating the Patriots, but it was the both of them. Um, and then Patrick Mahomes. I mean, I got those guys are – I mean, they made them. They made their mistakes. They played well, and heck, you can maybe say my number five is a bias pick. But uh, number five, I think everybody already knows. Malik finally got in, finally played one eighteen point eight QBR, four of five, seventy four yards. Yes, I'm saying the seventy four yards. Yes, he threw one like sixty something yard gain on a little screen pass. But hey, I don't care. I'm biased. Malik's in my top five. Um, so hey, there. Now, now to the real number four. Uh, I got Dak Prescott number four. 109 QBR, 21 of 30 for 272 yards and a touchdown. Uh, kind of went back to playing kind of vintage Dak Prescott, get the ball to playmakers, made some plays, crossing routes, getting guys open, and finally st stopped turning the football over. Now, obviously, this has been a little bit better Dak in most games this season. Um, but, I mean, if Dak doesn't turn the football over, he can still be a solid guy. Well, keeping it in the NFC – uh, NFC East, uh, Mike, your, your guy, Sam Howell, comes in number three on the list. Uh, the dude is, is bombing in Washington, 119.7 QBR, 14 to 23 for 151 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, yeah, didn't have to throw very much and still really only completed a little over 50% of his passes. But when you throw three touchdowns in a week that uh, not many quarterbacks really played very well, you, that's how you get number three on my list. Um, and and then for my top two, I, I really think both of these could be interchangeable. Uh, but I'll go Jared Goff at two, 107.5 QBR, 30 of 44, th 353 yards and two touchdowns. The Lions offense is riding high. And let me just make the little mention, maybe to jinx it as a Viking fan. But every team that has been the talk <laughs> of the town uh, that week has then followed it up by a loss. You can you can look at every single one of these. So Lions maybe talk of the week, maybe they lose again next week. Uh, and then number one, uh, the league leader in passing, uh, Tua Tungavaloa, 126 QBR, uh, 21 to 31, 262 yards and three touchdowns. And might I add, uh, for all your concussion lovers there, he wasn't even touched once. So um, the every it, it, no no going near concussions for Tua and this offense is continuing to fly high. So that's uh, my week six top five quarterbacks of the week. 